praise God. We pause now with a special presentation, remembering our beloved Emerita General Supervisor, Mother Willie Mae Rivers. Born on February 20th, 1926, in Goose Creek, South Carolina, Mother Willie Mae Smalls Rivers touched countless lives across the world, leaving a legacy of love, service, and leadership. Her father, Robert Smalls, affectionately called her Willie Ray, recognizing her special gift for caring for others. From her early years, Mother Rivers displayed the promise of greatness with a heart devoted to the welfare of those around her. She received her education in the Berkeley and Charleston County school systems and was an active member of Mount Zion AME Church. Even as a young girl, her commitment to her faith was clear. At the tender age of 15, she married David Rivers, with whom she shared nearly 56 years of marriage, raising 12 children together. In 1946, during a revival, she was deeply moved by the gospel and received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, leading her to join Calvary Church of God in Christ. She became the church's mother at just 20 years old, dedicating her life to service and ministry, a role she fulfilled until her passing. Mother Rivers' leadership extended far beyond her local church. Over the years, she took on increasingly influential roles, becoming district missionary and later assistant jurisdictional supervisor. In 1968, she was appointed supervisor of the Department of Women for the South Carolina jurisdiction, a position she held for over 50 years. Nationally, she served as a guiding force within the Church of God in Christ, working with three presiding bishops, her numerous roles included serving as international marshal, chairperson of the Board of Supervisors, and eventually appointed as the general supervisor serving from 1997 to 2017. Under her leadership, the Department of Women flourished, with Mother Rivers implementing programs like the annual prayer breakfast, women's leadership conference, and initiatives to support widows, youth, and international outreach. Mother Rivers' influence stretched across continents, traveling to over 48 states and numerous countries, spreading her message of faith, empowerment, and compassion. Whether speaking at conferences, mentoring future leaders, or leading prayer services, she was always a steadfast advocate for the church and its mission. Her contributions to the Church of God in Christ are profound, but even more significant was her nurturing spirit. She mentored women of all ages and intentionally reached the younger generation through initiatives like the 49 and Under Group, where she imparted wisdom drawn from scripture and life experience. Her tireless service was recognized in many ways. Mother Rivers was honored with accolades such as the Doctor of Humane Letters from Mason Theological Seminary, and the prestigious South Carolina Governor's Order of the Palmetto Award. She even met prominent figures like First Lady Michelle Obama, further solidifying her influence and reach. Beyond her public roles, she was a devoted mother and grandmother, nurturing her family with the same love and faith that defined her ministry. She served her community through programs like the Evangelist Speaks radio ministry and founded the Community Christian Women and Men Fellowship which provided support to those in need. Mother Rivers was a pillar of faith and wisdom. She leaves behind a legacy of service and compassion. Indeed, Mother Rivers was a rare jewel, a true servant of God, a mother, a mentor, and a messenger of God's love. Long live the memory of a great woman of God, Mother Willie Mae Smalls River, sixth general supervisor 
of the Church of God in Christ. She touched countless thousands of women, men, boys, and girls across the globe. Her influence transcended the Church of God in Christ. She touched us so that we will always remember to give all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. It belongs to God. At this time, I'm going to ask Sister Angie Rivers if she will come. We have a presentation to the family. Sister Angie, her last child, will represent the family on today. And because all the glory, all the honor belongs to God, she was on business for the king. Sister Angie, we present to you this oil painting so that you will never forget the love the women's department, the Church of God in Christ had for your dear mom. Wherever you choose to place it, I'm hoping when you walk by, when your family members pass by, they will know that the women's department, the Church of God in Christ, the leaders of the church, love Mother Willie Mae Rivers. Department of Women of the Church of God in Christ. Bless you, Rivers family. Thank you for sharing our mom. Thank you for sharing our mom, your mom, with the church and with the world. God bless. 